Anybody ever been thrown in prison for more than 24 hours? A <laughs> little Anything I tell you comes from real-world experience that was either has either validated training or has created training. I was held uh, detained at the Pakistani border. I was also held up by the Taliban. I was thrown in a jail in a country that doesn't exist. This through experience was terrifying, and I wanted out as bad as possible. But it was also validating because I was able to use so many skills that I learned when I was so young. It's never about the hostage. It's about the audience that they're addressing. So it's important to remember that you do have value. It's not to be alarmist, but when one thing goes bad, other things start to happen. Paranoia makes you do things that are inefficient and inappropriate and can actually damage you. There's nothing worse than being in beautiful San Diego and somebody's just come back from overseas and they still act like they're overseas. I'm like, dude, you gotta calm down. You can sit near the window in Del Mar. <laughs> there are no IEDs when someone is giving us giving us information that we don't want to hear, our instinct is to push back. So instead, just step to the side, metaphorically, sometimes physically. Just, well, I don't know, maybe that is true.